great British explorer, George Mallory, was to die on Mount Everest, was asked why did he want to climb it. He said because it is there. Today, training and optimizing an artificial intelligence model is seen as one of the greatest achievements a technologist can aspire to. Engineers and researchers pioneering these efforts are revered in the industry as rock stars. As the latest deep learning era has come upon us, groups compete to stack layers and layers of neural networks, training on millions to billions of data points, maximizing the computational power of state-of-the-art GPUs, and tuning their hyperparameters, all in hopes that they'll increase accuracy and reduce the chance of overfitting. To ensure that their model outperforms the rest. To be premiered at global conferences and to win major competitions in the race for AI dominance and market capture. But for the rest of us, we're left to wonder, what is an AI model really? In the years since I have entered the AI arena, I've searched high and low for a clear and concise definition, which also accounts for our coevolution with this technology. I've dug into the text and the theory that's been proposed by philosophers who first opined on mathematical logic in an attempt to explain the forces of nature, time, and matter, to explain our experience of reality. In traditional machine learning, you may describe AI as inferring specific rules from instances of data. Although accurate, this definition lacks weight and substance, does not account for the major long and short-term consequences one simple model may escalate on its impact in the world. A more clear and concise definition that I have been able to derive is a policy that has effects in the real world. Desirable and undesirable effects that you may want to optimize or minimize for. In my work as a technologist, in social impact entrepreneur, I develop AI that ranks effects to maximize social impact and reduce biases. I have found my purpose in modeling AI for social impact. A popular AI model, which mirrors our experience of the world, is a reinforcement learning model. Here, agents attempt new actions until the desired state is achieved. Along the way, they encounter positive and negative feedback, realigning their behavior. Engineers really appreciate this reinforcement learning model because they do not have to specify how the task has to be carried out simply the ultimate outcome or goal. This model only works well in simulations, though, due to its drawbacks, including long training time and lack of transparency or explainability of actions. So it only works well for problems that have low risk from failure. A more advanced and actionable approach would be to couple reinforcement and imitation learning. Here, agents get the opportunity to learn from prior knowledge, interaction with the environment, observations of expert agent behaviors. All of this coupled with a reward function allows for focus on the desired effect. What you're watching here is a recreation of the infamous game between AlphaGo, an AI developed by DeepMind, 
and world champion Go player Lee Sedol. AlphaGo and its successors were trained extensively on human and computer game examples. They used a deep neural network Monte Carlo tree search algorithm in order to decide on the optimum placement of each stone. But researchers still can't explain why AlphaGo carried out some of its winning moves. These are known as divine moves, which were unfathomable to professional players of this game. Training an AI model like this to carry out tasks in the real world could lead to harmful outcomes, such as in warfare. What about the imitation learning algorithm? You can think of this as your parents, teachers, or other role models with which you looked up to. Your observations of these expert agents' behaviors, states, and actions could increase your rate of success for, through transfer learning as well. But the world is not as simple or predictable as simulated environments. And not everyone has the opportunity to learn from expert agents or positive role models. This is the experience that myself and others who were raised in circumstances similar to mine struggle with as children. Neither my parents nor any adult in my extended family modeled a trajectory of success that society would have deemed worthy of pursuit. If you met a younger version of me, you may have predicted, as in standard imitation learning, where the policy is only as good as the demonstrations and data it's shown, that I would not have amounted to much later in life. But with school came a new environment and a new opportunity to learn from expert agents' behaviors towards success. Academic success became a new feedback loop with which I could hold myself accountable. But in school, another problem arose. The academics, inventors, and scientists that I was instructed to idealize did not come from backgrounds similar to mine. They were not like me. I was consistently reminded that my mother did not graduate from college, and my father failed to complete his GED after immigrating to the US as a refugee from Colombia. He passed away when I was a toddler, a casualty of the AIDS epidemic in the 1980s, when prevention and treatment options were not viable. My mother was left to raise two young girls on her own and struggled to further her own career while keeping a roof over our heads. At 16, I worked diligently to graduate high school early, get a full-time job while attending community college, to gain independence and move out on my own. I decided that instead of looking to others to define success in my life, I needed to become my own role model and decide what it meant to be truly successful for myself. I was the first in my family to get a degree from university with a bachelor's of science in biology, physical science, and human development. I'm mostly self-taught in engineering, artificial intelligence, and entrepreneurship. Several years ago, I launched the Excel AI Institute with a mission to lower barriers to entry in engineering artificial intelligence. I recognized the need for non-traditional and marginalized populations who want to use AI to solve problems in their communities, to give them access to resources and retraining, and a seat at the table and a voice in the future of artificial intelligence development. We integrate AI and social impact initiatives through research, consulting, and workshops on ethical AI and applied AI engineering. An initiative we launched last year 
the Latinx and AI Coalition supports sustainable AI infrastructure programs in Latin America, while also providing a platform for Latin researchers to share their work at elite conferences in AI. Last December, we hosted the first ever Latinx and AI research workshop at the Neural Information Processing Systems Conference in Montreal. This year, we'll also be hosting at ICML and iClear as well. As engineers and researchers developing artificial intelligence that'll solve problems of the future, we must recognize people as more than just data on a graph. We must look for the outliers that overcome their expected or predicted outcomes in order to achieve success. And we must value their unique life experience. As we evolve, so do our algorithms for creating AI that will solve the problems of the future. Evolutionary algorithms, when applied to reinforcement learning problems, have been shown to greatly increase the rate of success for these agents. Here, as in natural selection, the fittest agents go on to pass their knowledge on to future generations. Those agents who take the path less traveled pass on knowledge through exploration. As I have progressed, I have come to appreciate that you must weigh someone's struggles as much as their achievements in the judgment of their success, just like these agents. But that doesn't leave full responsibility of the world to future generations. As we evolve, approaching singularity, we must strive to be the best models we can be. We must recognize the value of outliers and unique life experience. As for myself, in a world where I lacked role models that fit society's standards, I only hope to inspire others to become their own role models by living up to the standards in which I set for myself. And to, develop, and to develop artificial intelligence ethically, with transparency and accountability for future generations of humans and artificial intelligence alike. Thank you.